Question for everyone this morning. Should students be getting coronavirus related refunds? Let us know what you think at 12news.com slash bullhorn. It's a question we might be finding answers to in court when the dust settles on this whole pandemic because the parents of two University of Arizona students filed a lawsuit this week seeking refunds for room and board from the body that oversees our state's three public universities. So these parents say all students at ASU, NAU, and U of A deserve a partial refund for their housing after the schools move to online classes. Now, this is kind of key here because the universities never actually closed their dorms. They did encourage students to leave if they had somewhere else to go, but nobody got kicked out of the dorms over this whole thing. And interestingly enough, U of A, the school that the parents who filed this lawsuit, their kids went to or go to, U of A is actually offering partial refunds to students who left campus, but ASU and NAU are not. So these parents with kids at U of A are filing lawsuits in, on behalf of the parents of the other schools. So what do you think about this whole thing? Do you think that the schools should be offering partial refunds here? And here is what some of you were saying on Facebook. Paul says, I think their housing and meal card fees should be refunded since they paid for something they didn't receive. Their classes, however, were switched to online and shouldn't be refunded. Irene says, no, students benefit from online classes and get just as much support. And Nate says, uh, a lot of numbers, yes, a million percent, yes, shouldn't even be a question. They didn't receive what they pay for. Simple as that. Now, my question, though, to Nate is that they didn't lose what they paid for. It wasn't taken away from them. And I understand that it, it was probably the smart decision to leave, but the university didn't force them to leave. So would it be the right thing and the nice thing for the universities to do to offer partial refunds? Yeah. Yes. Would it be the legal obligation? Uh, how could it be? They didn't take it away from them, right? It's the right thing to do, though. I mean, there's no question. When you sign up and you go to one of these big schools, you're looking for the brick and mortar experience. Not every kid learns the same way. Online learning does not translate across the board for everybody. I can tell you this from a very elementary and middle school level and hearing from college students, it's just not the same. And for some, it's very hard. So they're not getting the experience they paid for. Nobody's saying it's anyone's fault, but in all fairness, a partial refund I think is absolutely fair. We're not talking about the classes though, the online part. We're talking about the room and board that they were never. Oh, that's a given. No, that's a given. Right. Well, that's I'm all... talking about tuition. Tuition. No, that's not what we're talking about here at all. Oh, it's you're a just talking about food, room, and, room board. and board. Oh yeah. no, that's yeah, that's yeah, a given. That's what they're asking. All right, no, so keep weighing in right now. 12news.com/bullhorn. <laughs>